Hello everyone, welcome to The Last Faith. Wasn't originally planning to play this, but uh, I realized that, yeah, three RPGs at once is probably too many. Um, so we're gonna play this instead of Super Mario RPG. Uh, so pretty excited for this one. Basically, I've heard it pitched as if you wanted Blasphemous to be a little bit more on the Bloodborne side, this is the game for you. So let's go ahead and hop in. Has like gruesome executions, uh, similar style art and things like that. So, <clears throat> ooh, we select combat stuff. Okay, wait, brawler though. Can I be a fist build? Okay, no, these are just my stats. Oh, okay, so this leans, huh? Okay, so we do actually have stats that we level and stuff. Okay, this leans a bit more of a different direction than uh, I was initially thinking. Okay, so. Vitality, Strength, Dexterity, Mind, Instinct. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna guess it's health, uh, damage with strength-based weapons, damage with dex-based weapons, damage with magic, and then instinct is probably damage with guns slash crit chance, if I had to guess. Hmm. What sort of build do I want to go? <clears throat> um... I mean, Brawler sounds, like, really, really interesting to me. Um... Based off of the... Based off of the description and the fact that you're holding a big fist, but... Um... I think that's probably gonna be big strength weapons. Which, uh... I kinda did... In other games? So... You know, to kinda mix things up, because a lot of the games I've been playing, I've been relying very heavily on, like... <clears throat> you know, my weapons and stuff. I've never really went in on magic that much recently. Um, and magic's usually the playstyle I kind of go towards in a lot of games. So... And this still leaves me the option to go dex or into guns if I want to. So, let's go Stargazer. I had to turn down the music a little bit because this music on the title screen gets really loud. But, yeah, Stargazer it is. is at hand. The old ways are diminished. Only corruption and deception remain. But one rises above all others, falsely claiming salvation. They gather disciples to take all for themselves. And those who defy this deity suffer. They become servants to pain, imprisoned in solitude, barely existing. Yet only those who have been chosen possess the gift to reclaim what has been taken by the unworthy keeper. Only they can commit to such a burden. If they are able, their pledge shall be rewarded. With salvation. <laughs> Get in, kid! We're gonna go attack and dethrone God! Yeah, Temple of the Deposed Gods. Okay, so... I have my... my weapon here, which appears to just be a basic sword at the moment. That is my character. I believe their name is Eric. Um, obviously, if you haven't realized by this point, this is very much a Metroidvania. Um... It seems like it's leaning more into some of the Soulsy stuff, too. Um, a little bit harder than a lot of other games I've played as well, because this one actually has, like, stats and things like that. Um, I don't know if we heal the way we do in Souls, and I don't know if we have, like, a Souls checkpoint, so I'm not gonna call it, like, a Souls-like, really, but the fact that we actually have stats to level up is different than a lot of, uh... a lot of Metroidvanias. So, Nicrox, because usually if you have stats to level up, it's usually things you pick up, like health upgrades and things like that, I find. Some games you have, like, you can choose which stats you wanna build towards, but... We'll see. Uh, then we have health, focus, power, and fate. Focus makes me think of MP. Power makes me think of like 
TP? Like technical points for like weapon skills or something? Hmm. Nightmare resistance. <laughs> okay, I'm interested to go a mage build. I, I really am, because I haven't gone a mage build in a while. I remember when I played Astalon, I specifically mentioned I'm like, I usually go mage builds in these games, but I'm trying to I've been trying to diversify a little bit and go weirder things. So it'll be interesting to go back to, you know, my roots. My heart is heavy. Unlike the very few, I have no choice in what I am becoming. Something is taking over and fast. The promises that have marred lives for years and must be irre irrevocably broken. The heart of the Nycrux sought to redeem us all. Okay. It seems like Nycrux is our, like, uh, currency. So. Alright, let's get out. Let me see. Moves. LT and RT do something with those two slots. Um, B is my roll. Ooh, I like the animations on you. You look pretty cool. I already feel pretty mobile, which is nice. So that's good. Yep. Know how to do that. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get in. God, it feels so good. Every single, every single time you start a new Metroidvania, it feels amazing. Ooh, okay. Do I have, like, a parry or something? I wonder... Mutated comrade? Wait, do we have a bestiary? Because it just added that. It just added that somewhere. Because it, it listed it on the bottom screen. Maybe it was just saying its name. I don't know. Hmm. Possibly. So, do we have descriptions? We do have item descriptions, and I'm gonna be one of those people that reads all of them. Wedged in the hilt are fragments of blessed fabric from the relics of the ancient gods. Often these weapons were buried together with the high ranks of the Federal Army to protect them after death, but are now reserved for church-bound nobles. Unique skill, extend the blade into a spear, granting extra reach for attack. Oh, I like the sound of that. Okay, so it seems like this is not going to be one of those games where if I choose to go magic, I will exclusively use magic. Um, because I'm still gonna have a weapon and I'm still gonna swing it around. It's not a game where I can exclusively use magic, possibly. Um, so I will still have a physical weapon that I'm swinging around as well. Um, I need to be dodging, not doing that. But, like, I think of souls with that. Because, like, if you play a mage in souls, chances are you're not just slinging spells the entire time. You have, like, a magic enchanted weapon that you're using. Oh, okay, so we do have the Alucard dodge. Okay. So, that'll be something to keep in mind. We do have that, so I don't have to dodge roll everywhere. I just gotta make sure I don't get flip turns upside down. I like the little kind of like shuffle run back you have, the little backpedal. Before you totally turn around. But yeah, it seems like we're gonna be using a physical weapon while also using magic. So magic's just meant to augment my damage otherwise, so. Uh, probably what'll be happening in a lot of fights is I'll swing my weapon to get some damage in, especially if it rebuilds my MP slightly. But most of my damage is probably going to be coming from magic. I am sort of interested in guns, too. Okay, calm down up there. Healing injection. So... Restores health, held 2 out of 7, storage 0 out of 500. No way. Developed by the Institute Scientia, the drug originates from the dangerous studies and experiments- Okay, cool it! Okay? Experiments on the first manifestations of the Cold Ones, perhaps partly responsible for their spread. Despite the expulsion of the culpable doctors, the search continued in secret enclaves. In small doses, the drug alerts the body's defenses and enormously increases the immune system, miraculously healing wounds and afflictions- Okay, I'm coming up there to shut your ass up. I warned you, okay? I warned you, I was sitting down here, I was reading lore, and you're up there like, Uh-huh. You. Oh, I can't even kill them. Oh, that's annoying. But, yeah, so, what I was kind of freaking out about for a second there, we do actually need to equip that as well, um, was we have consumable heals, um, which comes with its own host of issues, potentially. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, if it's not like Estus and it doesn't refill on death, you always run the possibility of potentially running out and having to go grind healing items. 
You also run into the situation where people that are good at these games will just have way too many healing items, and people who are having a harder time with it will just run out and get frustrated. So we'll see how that system works and how they how they deal with it. Oh god, you're so cool. Already. With the gun blade? Already? I want a gun blade, please. Hey there. Ooh, I could destroy the pots. I could destroy the pots. It won't open. Okay, so there's gonna be stuff in there. Can we destroy, uh, candles? We sure can. I don't know if they're gonna drop anything. Don't think there's gonna be any, uh, holy water or anything hiding in some of those for me. Well, that looks like my checkpoint if I've ever seen one. Doesn't it seem like the... I, I futzed with the audio a little bit. We'll turn effects down too, because they seem just louder than everything else now. Like I said, the game was very loud when I started it up, so I had to turn it down quite a bit. That almost feels too quiet though, so maybe, maybe back up to 8, so it's on par with music. Press Y to interact with the checkpoint altar. This will save progress and allow you to teleport back to this location. Hey, and we have access to the teleporting just immediately. That's always fun. Good. I have not been checking walls for secrets yet. I need to make sure I do that. Um, if I see any suspicious walls, whack it with my sword a few times, just to make sure. Right hand weapon skills. Press RB plus X to use the weapon skill of the equipped right hand weapon. Be wise as this consumes focus. Oh, okay, so it's just long poke. It's just long poke. Alright. Does focus, like, <clears throat> region or anything? It doesn't look like it. Um, Alright, so... No, inventory. RT. There we go. So, blue... Hemolymph shard. Lymph shard. Crystallized liquid with a mysterious composition said to be derived from the sacrilegious larva of monstrous emanations from another plane of existence. Wonderful. It's capable of generating arcane power. Often those who assume this liquid can for a short time hear the voices of those who've lived and suffered in a time before ours. Massive doses are believed to lead to insanity. <clears throat> yeah, so... When people started talking about the comparisons to, like, Bloodborne, I was like, we're gonna get into some cosmic horror, aren't we? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like we are. Don't know where that random cough's coming from. Uh, I guess I can equip this. Um... Okay, and that's how we switch. And currently, that is on RT, I believe, that heal. And I can swap it. Interact with the, the store store and he spent focus. Ooh, that's nice. <coughs> it's a one-time deal, though. Oh, I... God. There's another game I've been playing where I have a double jump. So I just was like, oh yeah, I'll just double jump to that. No. Hi. There you go, dead. I already feel pretty capable with my character, which is nice. God, that, that poke is incredibly long range. <clears throat> More hemolymph shards. Hemolymph. I gotta say, I gotta remember, it's not lymph, it's lymph. Like a lymph node. Alright, got a good grabby. Yeah, the combat definitely feels speed-wise closer to Blasphemous 2 than Blasphemous 1, which is good. Uh, I definitely like that a whole lot. I like how it's already marking locked doors on the map for me and stuff, too. <clears throat> and would you look at that? We do have pins. So I have a question mark pin, a sword pin, a NPC pin. So we got a, we got a few good ones to choose from there. Nice, nice, nice. Always like to see it. Healing injection. What was the last big Metroidvania I played? Was it After Image? Might have been after image. But yeah, most of the Metroidvanias, I feel, you just kind of have like like static level up growth. Like when you level up, you get more HP or stuff. If it's leaning into more of like Symphony of the Night stuff, but there's not many Metroidvanias I played where you actually put points into stats. That very much leans them more into the Souls-like direction. <clears throat> well, that was a grappling hook spot if I've ever seen one. Look at you. Look at you. That's gotta be a grappling hook spot, right? 
Okay. And that opens the way for me. <clears throat> Ooh, can I? I don't think I can go on that now. This is just a fall. Is fall damage a thing? That was a pretty high fall, so I... I feel like I should say no. Bye-bye. I'm doing pretty good damage, too, without uh, any stats and the relevant damage skills. Giant patron? Ooh, okay, that's a shockwave. Noted. Ooh, okay, and that shot out projectiles. Whoop. Oh my god, okay. Heal. Whoop. Heal. Okay, ow, those projectiles flying out of me is rude. Ow. Oh my god, these do not heal enough. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Okay, maybe I got this. Ow. Okay, you got me there. I'm running I'm running over here. Don't mind me, friend. Whew. Let's heal up. Okay, when you shine like that, that means you're doing the other version. Uh-huh. Whoop. Okay, we're good. Oh god, this is mini mini projectiles? Yep. Uh-huh. Ow. Ow. Okay, no, we're good. Ow, that still got me. Oh, I'm facing the wrong direction. Uh-oh, this is the scary one. No. Okay. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. Almost did it, but, uh, not quite. Healing injection. Okay, so that's how they handle it. They drop a few when you die. Okay, that's a, that's a friendly system. Almost first tried it, but, uh, yeah, these healing injections do not heal a lot. So, uh, we're gonna have to be really, really careful in this fight, but I learned some things there. Uh, immediately getting an idea for the difficulty of, uh, how the boss fights are going to be going forward. So, that's something to keep in mind, too. I could have used my mana to do- because that- that spear attack did ridiculous damage, so... That's something to keep in mind. Uh-huh. Probably gonna save that damage for the later phase if I can, because it seems like when you do that attack, as long as I'm on the other side, I'm, like, totally fine. Uh-huh. I'm gonna save my, my mana for when you're doing the much scarier things in that second phase. So basically, once I get you to half HP... Ow. Come on, swing. One thing I'm immediately extremely happy to see is no contact damage, it seems. Ow. So, I can just, like, walk under enemies and stuff, and we'll be fine. Uh-huh. Go ahead and pop this. Uh-oh. Here's the bad. Uh-huh. Ow. Ooh, that's mean! That's mean. Okay. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> and when you start throwing that phase where stuff starts falling from the sky. That is spooky. Uh, so it seems like it always sets you up so that you have at least a few healing injections, but... It's gonna be hard for first attempts to not be my best attempt when I can have over my... over my, like, normal amount. Pretty easily, so... I already saw a review that said that they died to this first boss 15 times, so... Ow. Um, I was kind of prepared for it to be fairly difficult. It probably doesn't help that I don't have access to magic right now. Um, really? Like, having access to magic would probably help me a whole bunch. But, uh, we don't really have that much to work with right now. Whoop. 
jump away from that. Ow, that was the quick smash. Okay, here's the scary one. Ow. The fact that you do two is so rude. And then here's this again. Okay. Oh, okay. I am somehow alive. Okay. No, you do the second smash. <clears throat> God, there's just so many projectiles and things on the screen. Um, I do have to get used to the timing of my uh, my heal and stuff. Honestly, as far as first bosses in one of these games go, these are pretty difficult though, because I don't know the last time uh, against the first boss in a Metroidvania that it took me more than like one or two tries. So this is definitely fairly difficult. I see a lot of people playing this on day one and just getting immediately demotivated right here. For sure. No, turn the correct way, please. Heal. God damn it. Ugh! Just trying to roll. No, don't do that again. That's the worst one. <laughs> Damn it. I got so close to that first attempt because I had the extra heals, but now that I don't have the extra heals, it's going to be a lot more difficult. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's one of the things with like consumable healing items uh in games like this is yeah, you run into that issue where someone's first attempt is their best attempt because they had more heals and then they just kind of suffer from that point on but learning bosses is fun and this one has a fairly simple move set i just need to get better at dodging it some of the, sometimes it's hard for me to tell exactly which version of what attack you're using um obviously also if i spec more into damage rather than magic which i don't even have at this point <laughs> That would be, uh, phenomenal, but, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm guessing my thingy counts, my, my spear poke counts as magic because it uses focus. Ow. No, stop it. Very, very hard to find a time to get a heal in with you. Very, very difficult. Ah, oh, see, that one's so fast. Like, holy shit, that one's fast. Uh-huh. Oh my god, that caught me? Holy hell. Okay, here's the scary one again. Now that I know I can kind of stand on the edge over here to stay away from your your hitbox, that's pretty nice. Okay, here's the spooks one again. You can stand on the edge and it doesn't reach that far. Extremely good to know. Oh no, that caught me. God, that little shard projectile you shoot out. No, that was the fast one. Damn it. Yeah, you have like a fast one, you have a slow one, you have one that shoots projectiles, you have the, the one that calls the things down from the sky. That one's a little bit easier to deal with now. Um, now that I know I can just stand on the edge of the screen and it seems like I can't get hit? Or there's at least a very, very low chance of me getting hit. So, it's quite nice. Oh, hey, look, two extra healing injections. Is this... is this taking it easy on me? Is that is that how they're gonna work with this system? There's going to be pots in front of each boss, and if you start to die a lot, it'll just start giving you more heals. Don't know how I feel about that, if so. Demi-oxide bullets for use in firearms. 
These are metal cartridges bound with demi shade ore. Firearms equipped with these special bullets are the only ones effective in attacks against beasts. The discovery of demi shade ore in the temples was an ancient one, rumored in form only when moonlight shines directly on the right spot of the world's surface. It is said that demi shade was an was a sign of ancient divinities who controlled the demi shade's existence. The liquid mineral was infused with powered or powdered oxygen by the Institute Scientia to create a unique combustible substance similar to gunpowder. However, there is only a limited supply of demi-shade ore. In more recent times, it has been plundered by many in the creation of weaponry, meaning demi-oxide bullets are extremely rare. I feel like when I'm reading, there's going to be a lot of times where there's going to be like random groans from monsters in the background. So I'm going to be totally quiet this attempt and see what I can do. I expected that combo to finish you there, but no, we got it. See the power of shutting up. Yeah. <laughs> the power of shutting up. That's how we do it. So yeah, just when they do the attack where the things fall from the ceiling, just stand on the left side of the screen, it seems. Uh, the right side might work too. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, just kind of face tank them and roll through them. You can handle bosses a lot differently in this game since there's no contact damage. So, yeah. Stigma of Reprieve. As the power of the Junus Ministry's enemies begin to seep into the world, this power can be harnessed by those who have fallen victim to the Ministry's terror. The stigma is used for a vicious counterattack, temporarily stunning, stunning an enemy. Ooh, do we have parries? Please. RB plus Y with the stigma equipped to strike out at attacking enemies. A well-timed hit will interrupt most attacks and restore a portion of health. Consumes power to use. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, that's good. That's good. You can restore health with parries. That sounds phenomenal. So, yeah, I definitely could have beat that boss way earlier if I had just, like, shut up and buckled down and concentrated, but... You know, it's an LP. I'm supposed to talk, so... But it's fine. That was, like, what? Six attempts, I want to say? I wasn't really keeping track. I'm gonna be real. What was that? Is that a checkpoint? Huh. I feel like maybe I should, uh... Ooh, there was an execution prompt. Infected Pilgrim. Um, I feel like I should go back to the thingy and rest. Like, that's clearly a checkpoint, but it's not one of the full checkpoints. Mm. Oh, our spikes. Our spikes instant death. That's the question. R spikes instant death. Oh yeah, I should try this out on you. Oh, I was a little bit late there. Okay, one more attempt. Ooh, okay. It seems... It seems difficult uh, to, to land that, actually. <laughs> the timing is uh, pretty precise. I mean, I know I give it like two attempts, but... You know. It seemed uh, pretty tight. Oh, I'm out of stuff this time, so I can't do that. Uh, let's make sure we stay healed, please. Well, I really, really like the idea of that particular stigma that we have right now. 
It seems like it was auto collecting my souls, by the way. I didn't talk about that in the boss fight, but it seems like that was it. That's what it was doing. Like, um, whenever I walked into the boss arena, they kind of just absorbed into me as long as I got near them. I didn't have to press a button or anything. So, yeah, okay. So that's the description we already read for that. So those are going to be like our different like powers we can equip. And I'm guessing that's just, you know, one of them. So that's cool. Locked with a key. So many things are locked with a key. This doesn't seem like the type of game that's going to have like a ton of things hidden like in places like that. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hi. Curse bearer. You bring a dangerous affliction before me, yet I smell fear upon your flesh. You may approach. Yeah, I've got the- I've got the crazy curse. It's fine, though. Who is the woman that speaks before me? An interrogation will not serve you well. Your heart is murky and unworthy of the mercy of the Lady of the Manor, Helenia. So this game does have voice acting, so I will get to rest my pipes. During, uh, during dialogue and stuff, which is cool. The voice acting seems pretty good so far, too. My lady. You speak with respect. Only now as I reveal myself to you. But your curse will always burden you. Many others like you have dwelled here in the manor. I feel a familiarity with this place. A pull I cannot explain. Many would implore me to seek freedom. But freedom is not this life's ultimate treasure. Understanding is what I seek. As do I. Then seek it. Return to me with your findings and experiences, cursed one. And through our understanding, you shall be bolstered yet. Are you who I turn my bestiary into? I pray. Would you do me a kindness in turn? What would you ask of me? I have callings elsewhere. Yet I remain. I yearn for this place. For those here with me, if you discover a teacup most blessed on your travels, deliver it to me. For a lady cannot remain in one place for so long. There are whispers throughout the manor. Whispers that reveal secrets. Spells. You will come to understand soon enough. Ah, you're who I level up with. Yeah, wait, yes, you're my, you're my level up lady. Those are required in these sorts of games. So this increases my dark defense and my nightmare defense. And also does increase my focus. So maybe there's not magic. Maybe me leaning into this is just leaning into like weapon skills? Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Um, getting my HP up a little bit is probably a good call. HP is always a very, very important factor in these games. Um, I'll get my mind to 16 just because that looks nicer too, but I'm not sure which path I want to go down for weapons yet. Um, obviously strength is out because it's so low. So I think I'm probably going to lead into either dex or, or instinct if I can just use guns as a primary weapon. It seems like bullets are a currency, so that might not totally be possible, but we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, I will spend that to level up. Thank you. Inquire about the manor. Tis a strange manor. Pray, tell me more. A place of ancient splendor. Home of the Oxnabils. Now forever tainted by the ones who called it home. Through twistedness and bad omen, people sought solitude. But alas, tis a blessing that I cannot share. Yet, now you are here. Like many before you, who have been drawn to these hallowed walls. Okay. Uh, is there nothing else to ask about the manor? Okay. So, yeah, no, that's it. That's all you got to say. Okay. Um, item. When am I going to get, like, the jailer's key or whatever that I need to unlock all of those cells back there? Really want to know that. Oh, thank you so much for having it be a hold prompt. Oh, curse is flaring up.
Are we gonna have a devil trigger? Ox Neville's mana. Come on, there's there's got to be a checkpoint here soon, right? Uh, Ox Neville's, as they called it. There's some more bullets. Hmm. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. I should probably check the walls just to be safe. No. Alrighty. I suppose I could put my um mana restoration thing on like the other slot. Over there. Well, no, that's probably that's probably something else. Yeah, no. RT is just for items, and I can scroll through those, but that's clearly something else. Possibly my gun when I get it. There we go. That's what I want. That's what I want. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. I'll talk to that character next time. We're going to go ahead and save just to make sure that's locked in and end the first episode off here. So, yeah. Pretty cool game so far. Definitely, definitely liking it. Uh, glad I decided to play this instead of yet another RPG because, yeah, I would have been swarmed with RPGs had I done that. Um, so, yeah. We can uh, play new Metroidvania. It's time for another Metroidvania. I'm very, very, very excited for that. It is it is interesting that this is, is using a lot of Souls-like systems considering I just came off of a Souls-like, so that's going to take some getting used to. But... Um, definitely seems like at least from this point it is harder than blasphemous 2 so far because one thing i did notice about blasphemous 2 was blasphemous 2 was kind of easy and a lot of other metroidvanias that i played recently have been fairly easy for me um and part of that might just be because i play a lot of them but this at least seems to be kicking off a little bit harder from the get here um, like, there were a lot of projectiles in that fight. These heals don't heal a lot. We had to learn how to dodge if we wanted to win. It wasn't something I could just brute force. At least not this early in the game. Maybe it'll be later. We'll gain the ability to get some busted magic and stuff, and it'll be different. But at this particular point, actually a pretty difficult fight. So that's cool. Always like to see that. So yeah. Here's hoping to a fun playthrough. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.